Hey, how are you? In this video, I'm going to explain exactly step by step how you can start a insurance brokerage or agency completely from scratch. I'm remaking this video. I made it a couple years back when I was first starting my agency and I helped a lot of people. And I wanted to remake this now in 2022 going into 2023 because some stuff has changed a bit. So if I had watched a video, hopefully like this, um, I definitely would have expedited my process to grow my agency. And over the last couple of years, I, I, you know, grown it fairly, um, you know, well, and it's gotten, you know, exactly where I dreamed of it of being um, a few years back. So I'm making this video to hopefully help you, uh, you know, get your process sped up and get to the top faster and get your agency rolling. Um, so here's, we're going to dive straight into it. No BS, straight to the point. Straight to the point. All right. So the first thing you need is experience in the insurance industry. I get this question all the time. You don't want to go into this thing cold. You don't want to start off not knowing how to handle sales, not knowing how to handle customer service, billing questions, basic stuff in insurance. Like these are things you need to fundamentally know. Personal lines, commercial lines, life insurance, whatever it is, product that you're looking to sell, have some experience. I typically recommend about one to two years of experience under an agency or another broker or mentor or whoever it is that you're you are going to get that knowledge from, but there needs to be some form of base knowledge and experience. Uh, you do not want to sell yourself, set yourself up for failure. So highly recommend that. Excuse me. Number two, you need an insurance license. You need to have a license to legally sell insurance. So 52 hour course, typically in California, that's how it is across the country. It's pretty similar. You do a pre-licensing 52 hour course and you then take the pat once you pass that you take the state exam you can get your license number three also a very common question i get all the time is appointments or contracts with the company so let's just say you got the experience you got a license you're good now i need to have a contract with a company to sell their products so that contract is not easy to get especially with big companies they have a lot of requirements on getting those contracts and giving them out they want to vet the agents well and make sure that you are qualified to sell their products so there are some ways around it i highly recommend you in look into insurance alliances and insurance clusters if you google that i have also made a bunch of videos on that on how those can really help you get those contracts to make commissions so that the carriers can you can get appointed with the carriers Next thing you need is an uh, errors and omissions insurance. It's you know very simple to get. Uh, hit me up, hit up your local agent um, for errors and omissions insurance. It basically protects you from making mistakes. Uh, if you do make a mistake, it happens on somebody's insurance, and then they turn around, and they sue you. It's insurance for your for yourself as an insurance agent. If you make mistakes, have negligence or omit errors on a policy like change same putting the wrong name address uh you know services that they provide and they sue you next thing you need is an office i highly recommend having an office i started off in a tiny office you can see in my original video on how to start an insurance agency i was in a pretty much like a 200 square foot green wall behind me tiny little office uh and it really helped me getting in there and like knowing that I had to grow and get out of there and hire employees. So I highly recommend an office. The other reason is a lot of insurance carriers also do require a physical location. So you may need to do that literally just to get the contracts. Um, they don't want to give it to you always if you're working from home, but things have changed a little bit after COVID. It has changed a bit. So some carriers are a little more flexible with that. Look into that. Um, I would recommend being in an office, good place to kind of Get away focus on the business next thing you need to have you know the approval of the license once you do get your license in place you need to get it approved by the department of insurance so i think it's like 80 dollars. i'm not 100 sure now how much it costs but you need to and each state is a little different 
So once you pass, you need to call the Department of Insurance, find out what you need to get that approved under your name. Um, next thing you need is a DBA, a doing business as. You can go on LegalZoom or any other kind of legal entity, uh, uh, you know, lawyers, attorneys that can help you get that set up. Um, it's basically just, let's just say I'm doing insurance. My name is Chris Costantini and I'm doing business as Adelphia Insurance. It's not a legal entity, it's just a sole proprietor, myself, doing business under a different name. So do, doing business as. Um, next, a business entity, like getting an LLC, corporation, S-Corp, whatever, set up um, under, so let's just say you, you know, Chris Costantini, LLC, uh, or Insurance Services, LLC. Mine is actually Adelphia Insurance Services, LLC and we have our own business entity. Once you have that business entity, you can get a business entity license. So you submit an application to the Department of Insurance and they give you an entity license number. So you're gonna have your individual license number and you'll also have your business entity license numbers or two. Your, your um, personal license is gonna be the sub-licensee to the agency license and then all your employees that you hire on, producers if you do in the future, they can be sub-licensees under the agency license. So you need to get a business entity and then a business agency uh, entity license number. So you submit another application. I think that one, I don't know exactly. I think it's like another 80 bucks to get that application, depending on the state. Um, so that's that. Some states require a broker bond. Um, usually it's like a 10,000 or $15,000 bond. It's not what it costs. They're usually actually pretty cheap. They're like 50 bucks a year or 100 bucks a year. Uh, it protects you and contracts from Google what a broker bond is. Um, I don't love broker bonds. I don't sell them that often and it's not my expertise. Um, lastly, um, one thing that's very, very important and I highly recommend once you do get going is patience. Being patient and knowing that this business is a compounding business year after year, as long as you're putting in the work, it should be stacking up and growing. So don't give up. I, those first six months are complete hell. You're figuring out all these new companies you're working with, how they operate, how their billing works, how their services work, how when you change something on their you know, policy. So there's, gonna, there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of failures early on in those first six months. You make very little money. So try to keep your office lean. Don't go and get a super nice office that your expenses, you're at a $10,000 office expense on the first month. You know, don't go and blow it on like super expensive logos or branding and marketing. Like do those things, but your first six months, just know there's gonna be a lot of stumbling and tripping and, and making mistakes. So keep your expenses low if possible super lean in every way your phone system you know all those different things internet providers all the all the expenses you can um, you're going to take on like management systems etc etc try to keep them to the minimal like as minimal as possible and then be patient because once those commissions and renewals start to flow the agency will start to take off so that's all i got i hope that does help you you know feel free to hit me up um, I'm happy to answer any questions for you. Um, I, if you can also check out chriscostantini.com. I offer some you know, little consulting for people that need it. So if you ever do need it, check it out on there. I'm happy to, happy to chat with you. Or just shoot me an Instagram DM. Um, my, it's Chris the Insurance Guy on Instagram. Um, and pretty much any other social media you can find me, Chris the Insurance Guy. So super happy to help out. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like if you want. You don't have to. Would really appreciate it if you did, but you don't have to. Um, helps us reach more people. So that's all I got. Thank you. Hopefully you got some value from that. We'll see you guys at the top. See ya. Peace.